Hi guys, it's Kristen, and this is my real life course. Today we are going to do a chair yoga pick me up. So if you're at the office, if you're at home with your kids, or you're just exhausted, you don't have energy maybe to do a full yoga practice, and you're an advanced practitioner, this is the perfect workout for you. So we're going to start with our feet about hip width apart. I want you to scoot towards the front edge of your chair so you can feel your sits bones really anchoring down. You're not leaning back. You're lifting up out of your lower back. Hands on the uh, knees, nice and open. So the second we turn our palms up, we become receptive and open to the gifts that rain down from north above. We also flip our collarbones open and we really lift our lungs, right? We feel that expansive breath start to lift as opposed to being here where you can't get a deep full breath. When you can't take a deep full breath, your energy completely drains. So what we want to do is find that nice lift and openness. And we'll close the eyes. I want you to feel your feet grounding into the earth. Whether you have shoes on or not, you can really feel your feet press down. And then let the shoulders relax away from the ears. Feel the crown of the head lift to the sky. When you join the thumb and forefinger, you're uniting the universal with the personal. So you feel that sense of community. And then start to unite your mind and body through your breath. Inhale, full, deep breath. And exhale all the air out. Deep, full breath in. Deep, full breath out. One more breath in. Exhale, empty all the air out and start to open the eyes. And then inhale, float the arms up, press the palms at the top, and then exhale, just press the arms down. So easy sun salutation, arms, inhale, inhale, inhale. You're linking the breath with the movement. Exhale, 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 great. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Let the breath and the movement match. Exhale, exhale, exhale. So at the very bottom of the exhale, you're gonna start lifting, inhaling. Inhaling, inhaling, the fingers touch, exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. Perfect. This time we're going to inhale. And then this time, interlace the hands, press the heels and the hands up to the sky, relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Try and drop your ribs, right? Front bottom ribs relaxed and released, and then elbows lengthening. Inhale a deep breath here. Exhale, side bend to your left. Anchor that right sits bone, stretch the waist, stretch the lungs. Let some nice full oxygen enter into your body. Exhale all that stale air out. Up through center and over to your right. Anchor that left sits bone. Come back up to center. We're going to do some little tricep presses. So you're just going to press the heels and the hands up and then bend the elbows. So what you're really working your triceps here, lengthening out through the elbows, also lengthening up through the waist. I want you to think of keeping the shoulders down and lengthening just elbow to wrist, and you'll really feel the outsides of your arms. So we'll go for four more. One, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, exhale, four. Beautiful. Now you're gonna release and do one more side bend. This time, let that arm release and lengthen Feel like you're stretching that top arm up but softening the shoulder down. Come on up over to the opposite side. And then come on up and release your hands behind you. Make a clasp, lift your chest, open your heart, press the thumbs down into the chair. Feel a deep full inhalation. And exhale all the air out. Inhale, float your right leg out in front of you and then cross the ankle above the knee. You can always use your hands to help it, and then extend that leg out and step the foot down. So this is like a little marching exercise. Inhale, and just work in the legs. Exhale, inhale, lifts our energy and our spirits. Inhale, extend, exhale, bend, inhale, extend, and bend. Now say you're in an office, you can maybe only extend that low, that's totally fine. If you can't kick your leg out as high. One more time, right leg. This time it's going to cross over, you find that nice ankle to knee, and then you come forward and breathe into that outer hip. You could also place your hands up on a desk or a ledge if you have something in front of you. Listen to the breath, inhale through the nose, exhale out the nose. 
Now, if you want to make this more advanced, you have to use your abdominals. You can actually thread the needle while you're seated. So you're going to take hold of that left shin and draw your right knee out to the side as you pull it towards your chest. You'll really feel this in your lower abs and also your lower back. Try and hold here and breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Nice, great hip opener. That's going to, again, bring some energy, kind of boost your spirits, lift you up. Excellent. Now we're going to cross that knee all the way on top and try and hold the outer ankle. So this is cow face pose in your seat. You're still really engaging your abs, letting those sits bones anchor, lift your chest, and then pull your feet to the outside of your hips. And you're going to feel that in the outer hips, right? And it's hard not to round back too much, so try and stay lifted up out of your lower back. <laughs> That's not easy, right? Now I want you to step that foot down Cross this ankle behind it, so these are your eagle legs. Take your right arm under your left, press your palms, and you'll find your eagle arms. Now if you have to just cross the feet like this and you can't get the foot to come all the way around behind, that's totally fine. I want you to take the arms over to the right and look to the left. Get that big opening and stretch. Eagle is a great pose for focus. And when we're scattered and I have a ton of things in our mind, that's when you can really get, zap your energy as well. So these poses are going to really hone in on that eagle-eyed focus. Now come forward, gaze down the tip of your nose or towards your fingers, and get a little stretch there. And when you come up, release and take your left arm overhead. Stretch the tricep, bring your head back in space, lift up through the lower back, breathe through the nose. If possible, bring the right arm up underneath you, see if you can catch the fingers, and hold here in cow face arms. So this openness in the heart center, lifting the lungs, breathing in that fresh air, you can close the eyes if you want to. And then just take this right arm behind you, take your left hand to your right knee and go into a chair twist. Notice when you twist, your knees might come with you. I want you to focus on keeping the knees together, twist from your waist and from your core. So you can place the right hand wherever is comfortable. I want you to inhale, lift and lengthen, and then exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale to lift. Exhale to twist, inhale to lift, and exhale to twist. Come back to center, hands on knees, little cat cow breaths, inhale arch, exhale round, inhale arch, exhale round, inhale arch, exhale round. All these little subtle moves that feel so good and can do so much for your back and for your spine and for your energy. And it doesn't take long. Now stay here and extend that left leg out in front of you. And then cross the ankle to the knee. Try and go wrinkle free in the ankles. Take your forearms across your shin. Fold forward here. You can fold forward on your desk. You can stay in this position and breathe as deeply as possible. You can also try threading the needle, reaching down and catching the right leg. So you have to engage pelvic floor, lower abs, lift the chest. Hold this pose and breathe. Deep full inhale. And deep full exhale. Great. And now you can try and take that into cow face pose, where you hold the outer ankles and pull them towards your hips. Keep lifted in your chest. Soften the shoulders. Breathe through the nose. I have this tendency to want to start to round back, so you have to really scoop in the abs and try and sit tall. Great. Now step that foot down, wrap that foot under for eagle. This time we're going to do opposite elbow under. Lift the arms up and look to your right. Squeeze those inner thighs. Get all that focus and then just release for a second. And try that again. Squeeze, 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 squeeze tight. Release. One more time. Squeeze and release. Nice. I had a yoga teacher who used to say that uh, eagle is good for fighting cellulite. <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not, but why not try it, right? Squeeze those inner thighs, find that focus. Beautiful, come on up, and then take your right elbow overhead, sit nice and tall, and take the left arm up under the back. See if you can open the chest, breathe through the nose, and find your cow face arms. So this side might be a little bit easier for you, especially if you're a righty. It means your left rotator cuff is a little bit more open. If you can't touch the fingers, that's fine. You can always use your shirt that you're wearing that day, or maybe you keep a strap or a towel at your desk. 
or at home, it's really a nice idea to have that because it will remind you to stretch whenever you have a second. And then we're just going to twist around to the left. Every inhalation you lengthen, every exhalation you twist. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Come back to center. This time we're going to do some little circles in the seat, circling around to the left, stop, and circling around to the right. Circling around left, and circling around right. Good, one more time. Feel that nice range of motion in the lower half, stop. And then we're going to open the legs into a warrior. So the right knee is going to open, the left leg is going to straighten out. Coming into a warrior two on the seat. This was actually one of my favorite poses when I was pregnant with my twins. Because I had such a large belly, I was able to feel a little bit more support underneath. And then extend the arms out, look over the right fingers, breathe through the nose, inhale. And exhale. You can reverse the warrior. And then take the elbow over the knee and extend the opposite arm overhead. So say you are at work and maybe you're in a suit or a dress or you feel like this is too uncomfortable to do the full warriors, you can always do a similar stretch and lean here without doing the legs, keeping this elbow. You can also just do the one knee opening, keeping the other leg straight, as opposed to going into that full warrior two. So that's a nice option for you. And then we're gonna come up and turn both feet out so we're in this goddess-like pose and do those circles again. So circle around right, stop, and circle around left. So I think of this like stirring the pot, stirring that energy back up, right? So if we plug in down deep from down below, it's like anchoring our sits bones into a light socket or into a plug, and then bringing that energy up. So a lot of times when we are working hard or we're sitting for prolonged periods, we become very upper body. We only breathe shallow, we only breathe up from our chest, we completely forget everything else. Yoga really gets us into that base game and into the lower half of our body, which is really that organic energy that we want to always tap into throughout the day. Now we're going to open into the warrior on the other side. So you feel that energy come from way down deep and it's long lasting. And then come over to extended side angle. So again, modification, if you need to, you could always keep the other leg bent in and just open the knee here, or both legs facing that way. If you can do the full warrior two, really extend that back leg long, soften the shoulders, breathe through the nose. Beautiful, come on up, come back to your goddess one more time. And we're gonna come forward and try and reach for our ankles and let the head hang. Soften the shoulders. Use your elbows to gently open the knees. Round it up, bring your feet all the way together. Slide your hips forward and come into a little tricep dip action. So you can come down and up. Now you can do the ankle to knee pose if you would like to, that we did earlier, and do five with one ankle on top and then five with the other leg on top, it's optional, or you can just keep the knees bent. You can also work with the legs straight out in front of you. These are always great ways to uh, get our energies back up throughout the day. And then I want you to straighten both legs out, lift the chest, open the heart into incline plank, drop your head back, let all that breath come in, inhale, and then exhale, come back to have your seat. Excellent. Take your arms behind you, hold your elbows. This is our posture pose. See if you can bring your hands up to prayer behind your back. Press the prayer, breathe through the nose. If you can't do that, you can always keep holding the elbows. But when our posture gets like this, again, we cut off our breathing, we zap our energy, so we're gonna stay lifted and open. And it feels so good to press the palms together behind the back. You can close the eyes if you want to, just drop your front bottom ribs. Listen to your breath. And then release. 
One last thing here, put your hands on the front edge of your seat. Think of just lifting your hips, your bum, and then lower your hips down. And now try lifting your toes. So you're gonna use those lower abdominals. You're gonna lift the hips, lift the feet. And this might be as far as you go as you're working on your core and your abdominals. But when we tap into that core strength is when we really find that lift of energy, that lift of spirit. So eventually, you're gonna be able to lift both the lower and the upper, the legs and the body. By using the upper body, tap into that core, find that boost, find that lift, and then lower the seat down. Excellent work. Come back to where we started, palms open, chest open, receptivity, join the thumb and forefingers, tap into the breath, And then bring your hands together in front of your heart, bow forward, seal in your practice. Namaste, thank you so much for practicing with me today and finding time to fit yoga into your life, wherever you are, whatever you're doing.